Good morning. My name is Nancy O'Toole, and I'm here on this Thursday morning to share with you God's love, God's peace, God's joy, God's hope. The Lord said, I am living and strong. I look after you and I care for you. I am like an evergreen tree, yielding my fruit to you throughout the year. My mercies never fail. Hosea 14.8 In all the many past years of my life, as the new year approached, I would make a list of all my New Year's resolutions, and I even tried hard to keep them. But the year of 2020 has changed me, maybe forever, in my views toward life and how we were stopped from living our lives in what we now call a normal way. But in the year 2021, I've come to regard one word that I need, that I feel, that I cling to, that for me will get me through these chaotic times, this time in our history of unrest and simply said, fear. This word that I claim for my life is hope. During the recent Advent season, I realized what each of the four candles of Advent mean, maybe for the first time. Love, joy, peace, and hope. All important ways to live our lives. But for me, hope captures my heart and my life. For me to be able to go on in these days and forevermore, I claim hope in my life. And I also want you to claim hope in your life. I know that hope will keep me from worry and fear. Hope will keep me from desperation and giving in. I claim hope that for me comes from God. I've scoured the Bible of scriptures of hope that I can go to when I'm afraid and discouraged. And I found that there are as many as 142 references throughout the Bible that mention hope more depending on the translation of the Bible. This is where I find my comfort. This is where I find solace in God's word. The book of Psalms mentions hope in so many verses. Psalm 25, 21, for I put my hope in you. Psalm 33, 18, for the eyes of the Lord are on those whose hope is in his unfailing love. Psalm 39, 7. Where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you, O Lord. Psalm 71, 5. O Lord, you alone are my hope. Psalm 71, 14. And as for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. And finally, Psalm 119, 74. I put my hope in your word. As I've done so many times in the past, I continue to go to the words from Jeremiah. Jeremiah 17, 7 says, Blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope. Jeremiah 29, 11, which I've claimed for most of my life, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And after Jesus came to all the people in Judea and Israel and gave himself up as a sacrifice to save all those who, believe, who believed in him through death on the cross, his followers accepted their call to spread the good news. And through the hands of God, Paul became the leader in the work of spreading life-giving hope of salvation. And through Paul's letters, we hear more words of hope as written in the New Testament. Romans 5.5 5. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts. Romans 15.13 Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And Ephesians 1.18 I pray that the eyes of your heart the eyes of our heart 
may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you. In his letter to the Hebrew Christians, Paul compares hope to an anchor, giving stability and the ability to weather the worst of storms. Paul writes, we should lay hold of hope set before us. This hope we have is an anchor of our soul, both sure and steadfast. Hope is my anchor in the midst of yet again some of the worst anarchy our country has lived through. My anchor in the midst of the worldwide pandemic which has ravaged so many of our friends and those we don't even know. My anchor is in the midst of the unrelenting fires that savagely burn through thousands of acres in our western states. My anchor in the midst of the deadly hurricanes that tore through our southern states. Hope is my anchor, the strength of my life, with my Lord God beside me, even carrying me through to his promise of plans for good in my life. God, the one and only, everything I hope for comes from him. He is a solid rock under my feet, breathing room for my soul. From a book called Choosing Hope, I'd like to leave you with these words. Let us pray together. Dear Lord, we know that hope thrives in the fertile soil of our hearts, restored by a loving gesture, a compassionate embrace, or an encouraging word. Hope is one of your most precious gifts. We praise you, God, that you have great plans for us, which is your promise and our blessed hope. Amen. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Thank you for considering my ideas of hope in my life, and may they also give you hope in your lives. God bless each one of you, and have a beautiful day in God's creation. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>